Hello everyone and welcome to Ask Dr. Bark and Colin Show. We are very fortunate to have Dr. Mark Schultz in our program today, who will tell us a bit about himself and about what's going on with his organization. Dr. Schultz, welcome to our show. Thanks, Dr. Barkin, for asking us to join you. Uh, as you know, I'm a medical oncologist. Our practice is in Marina del Rey, and we specialize in prostate cancer. And we appreciate your uh, asking us to join you uh, in the in that the, uh, there's an upcoming conference on prostate cancer in September at the Marriott, and early uh, I think it's September sixth, seventh, and eighth. And uh, so we can bring a little attention to that as well. Dr. Schultz, I would like you to tell our audience about what kind of immunology studies are you doing in your institution? Israel, as you know, immune treatment is one of the most exciting areas uh, and is moving quickly ahead. We now have an FDA-approved treatment called Provenge, and, uh, the, uh, and this is specifically for prostate cancer. You may not be aware, or, or your, your audience may not be aware, that there's now an FDA-approved treatment also for melanoma called Urovoy. And many scientists think that there's going to be a connection between these two immune treatments, that the combination will be more effective than either one by itself. So here in Marina del Rey, at prostate oncology specialist, we are testing the combination of the two medicines. This is funded by Dendria, the manufacturer of Provenge. And patients who are elig eligible for Provenge that meet all the criteria uh, would also be eligible to go on this trial. Uh, we've treated three patients so far, no unusual side effects, and er, we're still waiting to see how effective it's going to be, but we have high hopes that we'll see good results. Dr. Schultz, I'm sure you have other clinical studies ongoing, which I think that our listener would be very happy to hear about. So could you tell us a bit more about other clinical studies ongoing? Israel, there's so many new medicines now that are, are being developed and the clinical trials are, are, are getting more and more exciting. Uh, we have a trial using a medicine called XL184 and this medication is already FDA approved to treat aggressive types of thyroid cancer, but it's being studied in prostate cancer. Uh, in our particular trial, it's for men that have um, uncontrolled bone pain and uh, the hope is that this new medicine is going to have a dramatic uh, impact on relieving pain. Uh, we've had several patients on the trial already, and it does seem to be effective. Another trial that we're doing is a medicine to enhance uh, Taxotere, a common type of chemotherapy. And it, the medicine itself is called Kirstersen, which is infused weekly along with Taxotere. And it appears, although the final results aren't in, that the uh, Kirstersen will enhance the taxotere activity. And lastly, there's a new pill on the market called Extandi. This uh, pill, uh, it works in a with a hormonal mechanism. And the company is doing investigations in patients that have uh, predisp uh, predilection or predisposition to, to seizures or have had strokes. And, uh, and so this is an interesting trial uh, because uh, Xtandi is an expensive pill and it's possible that, with, um, uh, that certain individuals will be able to get this medication uh, for free from the company when they have these other predisposing illnesses. So thanks for asking about these interesting trials. Uh, there uh, is more information available on our website if you go to prostateoncology.com and click on the clinical trials tab. Dr. Scholz, uh, thank you for the information you gave us about the studies. But before you go, I would like to give you another chance to tell us a bit about the annual meeting that your organization is putting up in September. Could you tell us about what's going on, what are the topics, and we would like the audience to have some information how to register to this very important upcoming meeting. Israel, we've got an exciting conference that's uh, going to be near the Los Angeles airport this year. We've been doing this annually, and, and 
very pleased with the type of uh, results we've been getting. This year, uh, the PSA controversy is going to be attacked head on. There's going to be a, um, a, a shootout between two very prominent speakers, Timothy Wilt, Mac Roach, uh, with Dr. Moyad moderating the two. And this will hopefully bring some understanding as to all the confusion now about PSA screening. Uh, we've asked Dr. Duke Bond to come and perform a live prostate biopsy on stage. Uh, imaging and uh, targeted biopsies is an underutilized form of, of diagnostic intervention, and uh, the Peace Ride wants to bring attention to this. Uh, we have a lineup of fascinating speakers. More information is available at PCRI.org, and the phone number, uh, I have it right here, is 1-800-641-PCRI. Uh, PCRI if you want further information. Thank you, Dr. Scholz, for the information. We wish you the best and success with your annual meeting. I'm sure it's going to be a very important meeting where a patient could learn a lot of information about different situations with their disease, prostate cancer disease. Thank you for all the good work that you are doing. For everyone, stay well, stay informed, and have fun. Goodbye.